welcome to our 18th short tips and tricks webinar on Tuesday, the 13th of April, 2021. My name is Sebastian Bode, and as always, I would like to welcome all participants from all over the world, as well as my colleagues Claudius and Dirk from our service office in Bautzen and from home office. The colleagues are ready to answer all your questions directly. But especially for the new spectators, how does that work? No matter which device you use, you will find the possibility to send us questions in the GoToWebinar tool, which we will answer directly back to you. Very important is we do not communicate with you publicly, but only privately. We will stay after the webinar until we have answered all your questions. So we will then only switch off the microphones, but will be available via chat and question window. As always, this webinar will be recorded and uploaded on different platforms. These include our help page, help.agadata.com, our YouTube, and our Vimeo channel. In the last two webinars, which were also about the topic CAD, we started with some basic functions. We drew a wall connection with them and then took the wall connection into account as an, yeah, it is called free wall connection directly in the element construction. Our result was that on the one hand, it is very easy to create such drawings, such wall connections. And on the other hand, it is very easy to create with a, with a special, special CAD folder structure in Logical, such a kind of library for wall connections which can then use everybody in your company. Everything on a very easy way. But however, if there are many elements in one project that should be constructed with the selection of the same wall connections, there's an, an additional possibility, which I want to show you now. The solution for that is called project wall connection. To show you this, I've opened here the project from the last webinar and added here in other element without any wall connection. Here in the project center, you have now the option of preparing these yeah, special project wall connections here. Very important is that this is naturally also possible without having any positions here. So you can create them as a preparing of the construction in the, in the project. When we click on that, then a corresponding menu opens here. The question arises, what you have to do here? First of all, we create such a wall connection. Here, you are very free with a, with a name. You can take everything here in, in this field if what you want. But remember, however, that all colleagues working on this project must be able to know what's behind this name. We make it today very simple. We take it, we call it wall connection one. Yes, and that's it. Also here, as you know from other parts in Logical, the process security is very important. And there's nothing worse then using a wall connection on a profile that does not really fit. So, and therefore, you can enter here the profiles which really fit here to this wall connection. So you only have to add here the number of the frame profile or of the profile you want to use as the frame and nothing more. So, and on this way, Nothing can go wrong with the later selection of the right wall connection. Now we come to the drawing here. We go here with this button directly in the CAD. And also in this CAD, you have the possibilities. We see the last time at the end where you have the options to add some additional parts, some machinings, and so on and so on. I think last time I called it uh, wall connection CAD. Yeah. Here, 
It works as you had seen it two weeks ago. You can draw and complete new wall connection, or as I do it now, you can use the simpler way you add and draw it. So we take this one from the last time, and also here it is you have to yeah, you have to bring the, the wall connection in the right rotation and on the right point here. And then we have to delete the second yeah, profile section you see here. The one profile section which comes out of our drawing and not out of the wall connection, out of the element input. Then, yeah, nothing more to do, but um, we can do yeah, a small changing here because also this is possible. What shall we do now? We add here an additional article. As last time, but on this in this time on the outside and not on the inside. We all know this this menu here. That's the same menu we see last time, and we see you know it from the from the normal input of the elements. We start here with a with the article number because or with the with the description here. Take this angle. And then, um, yeah, we have to mirror it. Also this with the shortcuts you see here in the yellow window. And then we have it. And on this way, you can change everything you want. But this should be enough for this point. Then you go, ba go back and see that our wall connection, our wall project wall connection is now filled with content. And on this way, you can make as many connections as you need for the project. In our case, this one should be enough. We save this and close this. Now we have to bring, bring the element and the project wall connection together. And we do that in an already familiar way. We opened this element at first. Then we come to the well-known possibility, wall connections. And now we see here our special project wall connection. Chooses it with a double click. And then you see it, it is now here directly in the, yeah, in the element construction. So nothing is easier than that. But let's go one step back. Here in the function wall connection, because I have two other points, uh, well, uh, three other points, which I want to show you now. On the one hand, you have here also the possibility to create new ones, new project wall connection, or to change them. And then very important point is if you change the, the wall connections here or in the project center, it's the same, then it has an, has an influence on all the elements which are already, yeah, which have already this this wall connection. So, and this is, yeah, there's no easier way to make some changes in the wall connection because you do it one time, and everywhere it is actual. Uh, it's actual on all the at all the elements. It is actual. At this point, an, another hint. If you are here in this window, you couldn't, and you are sure that you have prepared this wall connection, but you can can't see it here. No problem. Go also here in the addition function and um, then take a look here. Is your frame profile really in this list? Perhaps you used a crop profile or take here a look if you use it, yeah, in a mirrored way. Try this out because, yeah, I have often also the problem and when I take a look here, I see, okay, I missed the profile, another profile on mirrored way and so on. So take here a look and I think that that would fix the, the problem on the easiest way. Yeah, and with this, we are now ready here. So with this, you are now ready to take wall connections very easy into account and logical and in simple constructive way. With the project wall connections for your whole project, with a yeah, free wall connection here for for yeah for single elements so 
this is yeah we see it on an on a constructive way because you see it here in the in the section and you have it on the section plan and so on and so on but the other on the other hand also the commercial part is very important to show you how this works we finish now the position and then take a look on the cut optimization so it saves take here the cut optimization and display it this, um, now calculating everything all the profiles which yeah, are needed for this element go here and see here now the angle so the angle which we have put it only in the drawing of the wall connection is now here also commercially in this project so and with this not only in the cut optimization you see it in the orders in the calculations in the assembly list and so on everywhere where you need this angle yeah it is taken into account and i think yeah that's that makes the war connection to take war connections into account technically and also commercially on a very very easier easy way but at this point i would say this is enough about the about the topic because i've prepared another nice point which i want to show you to you now therefore we close this and go then in the where do i want to go ah yeah sorry in the cad here in the top of this window you have the possibility to get yeah, very easy in cross section and section of an element you have prepared somewhere in the in the in one project it's very easy but you have one problem with it because if you change something here in the in the drawing or on the other side in the element input you have to keep in mind that you have to change it also in the other part and i think everybody of us has so much keeping to keep in mind I would forget that. And yeah, if you forget something, there can be mistakes. To make that much easier, we have here the, yeah, I call them intelligent elements. What's behind that? Yeah, let me show it to you. We insert at first the position. To make it easy, we take the element which we have used a few minutes ago. There we have it in the CAD which dimensions how the dimensions should be shown and so on is up to you you can yeah you can make the the settings as you want in the user settings this element here is not only in drawing this this has a connection to the to the basic logical position from where i get that and because it has the connection we can easily create here a section we do that and can then drop that here in our drawing with the wall collection, everything. But nothing real special here. We have the view on the element, we have the section. Okay, now we come to the real highlight. From here, can jump directly into the element and change what you want. So. You are here in the normal element input. You can change the glazing, the hardware, and also only the dimension. 2800, we apply that. Nothing new here. That's the normal input of the element. We finish the position. After that, we go back into the CAD loading a little bit then you see it here the view and also the section are directly updated so with this if you need some some changings in this element no problem you can directly go from here in the input of the element and it works also on the other way if a colleague colleague works in this project it changes something you have nothing more to do than update or reload all the positions and sections yeah and you are on an updated plan you are nothing can go wrong so 
transfers, uh, transfer errors or forgetting to transfer the changes from the CAD to the element import or, or back, that's the thing of the past. With this, this everything is automatic. And if you do not use our CAD, if you use the if you use AutoCAD, it's no problem. You have all the same possibilities you see here in the practical AutoCAD plugin. For this AutoCAD plugin, I've already done a great webinar. And if you are interested in all the possibilities, then take a look on our help page. There we, you will find the recording. And you will find the recording also on our YouTube and Vimeo channel. If you cannot find the recording, please write me in mail. I will send you the link directly. Okay, what is the result? You no longer have to look at the CAD and the element input separately. You can use them yeah, like one. War connection in the element input, the constructed element in the CAD, it's yeah, like one, one big program. And it is one big program. Before, we come now to the final topic that does not really fit to the to the topic CAD. I have one last thing for you. In the course of this webinar and also the last webinar, I've done a few things here with the keyboard with keyboard commands. These are partly function specific. You see them in the yellow helping window, but you have also generally available shortcuts here that make your work much easier. So you can use them every time. And these shortcuts we have compiled here on a small draw uh, on a small paper. And um, you do not have to write everything of this 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 fall here. I've pre uh, brought this this document directly here in the uh, go to webinar tool and you could download it now and work with that yeah, work with that and use the advantages of the logical CAD even more easily. With this, we come now to the last topic. And uh, it's only a small topic, but I have that on my agenda for a long time. So and today or last time we say, come on, last in the next webinar, we want to talk about that. Yeah, and now we come to that. It's about how you can get in touch with us. All of you know you can, can, can contact our colleagues in the support by phone or by mail, but you have also the possibility of sending us a status report. But what is behind that? It's short to say. It's the easiest and quickest way to find a solution because you give us the opportunity to take a deeper look into how you work. For this purpose, a small section of your logical is tr transmitted with a status report directly with us, and we can work with that to bring to you the best solution. Surely, we comply here all the data protection regulations, naturally. Yeah, and what do you have to do with for this? I, I would say this is easier than calling us because you only have to click on F11. Now, when you make it here, you, uh, um, you you see creating status report. This is only an internal point here, and you have this window here. What you have to do now? Please describe your your wish, your problem, in yeah as much detail as you can on the subject and also in the message. Every All the information you have, but don't worry about whether the information is sufficient. So if you do not know if this information, we need the information or what information we need, no problem. Important is that you enter here your data and that you confirm the data privacy statement. Because in this case, we can contact you back by mail or by telephone. And if something is open, we can call you. Of course, this is not compulsory, but if you do not send us your 
your contact data. We have no possibility to ask something or to send you the solution because we could not save your, your data. Then you have nothing more to do. Clicking on send. All the data are yeah, packed in the in the status report. In this case, you cannot work with with Logical, but you see it here. This works very fast. And after that, the packed data in the in the status report are sent directly to us. Very important is that you that it is no matter if you have a fast internet connection or in, in not so fast internet connection, you can use Logical. You see it here normally while uploading. I show you here the window where you can see that. Now it, everything is uploaded and send it directly to our server. And then our colleagues, my colleagues, can work with that and can give you the best solution. If you can't wait any longer, so when we call you back, it's important when you call us that you have the helpline number ready when you call us so that the colleague you get on the telephone can check directly the status of the ticket. This can be found in the subject of the confirmation mail you receive immediately after sending the status report. So important here is also if you want to send us some additional information like pictures and so on, just answer to this to this confirmation mail and all these informations are packed in one ticket and the colleague which works on that can take everything into account. Okay, small topic, but I think very important. At this point, I take an, again a look on my agenda and yeah, all topics that I've planned for today are wrecked. And with this episode, we have already completed the third season of the Tips and Tricks webinar and thus the 18th episode in this format. At this point, I and also my colleagues, which answers all your questions every time, want to say thank you for your loyalty and regularly more than 100 participants and sometimes also over 200. It's very, very great. Thank you for that. At this point, I also want to repeat here with pleasure again my call to you. If you are particularly interested in topics that I have not covered yet or that you think I have not covered yet them completely, please feel free to send me them. Send me the topics. The mail address is webinar at orgadata.com. And yeah, I will bring took that on my list and perhaps it is the topic of the one of the next webinars. We are now taking a short spring break for uh, the webinars, but as soon as there are new dates, you will find them on the Logical News Ticker on our homepage. And of course, we will inform you by mail also about some other events. But now we come really to the end and the usual hint. If you have further interest, you can simply take part here in the sur following survey, you know it, and we will get back to you soon, as soon as possible. So let's rock the week together. Stay healthy. Until then, bye.